top of the morning to you or afternoon or whatever the fuck time it is it's coffee with the news y'all make sure to tap in and hit them comments and listen y'all dr dre is like the drama is just not stopping for dr dre with this bitter ugly divorce you know with his ex-wife nicole young i believe she still kept young on her name whatever her name is now this ish has just been ugly you know what i mean and for the most part what's been coming out to the news you know that that we've been hearing i thought it was pretty much over you know what i mean she got this astronomical alimony spousal support whatever you want to call it we ain't even gonna go back over that number man i remember when all that was going on i was like yo dre is about to have another aneurysm you feel me like i'm not trying to make lighter crack jokes regarding uh dre's health situation as y'all all remember he the brain aneurysm burst it was looking bad it was quite scary man anyone who's ever like been through that themselves or you know had a close one friend family or whatever go through that it doesn't always end so nice but dre's back out here with a whole new lease on life and he seems to be taking advantage of it as he's, as he's been back in the studio with like the doc m snoop you know what i'm saying artists from back in the death row days newer artist dre's really really been working and there's a lot of reports that we're actually going to get that detox album and all kinds of projects coming from out of the shady aftermath interscope camp like that there's just big things coming and real quick sidebar too that uh halftime show is looking lit man i can't i can't wait for that at the super bowl that's gonna be so dope and i just gotta ask everyone like i'm not gonna get all into it or go all over it but what did y'all take of bridget kelly's comments regarding you know uh eminem being the token white guy and that she could do without eminem and, and she loves that a lot of black artists are are getting um the spotlight and performing at the super bowl i mean that's dope that's dope but it sounded like she kind of felt some way regarding eminem i know she said she could do without him she's glad that it's the other way around that instead of there being a token black artist out there he's gonna be the token white guy and there's nothing wrong with that at all but it just felt like she had some animosity towards eminem a little bit to me i could be wrong y'all let me know what you guys think about that but getting back to what we're talking about here with Dre, the divorce uh, being finalized and everything does not seem to mean that the drama's over. Because listen to this, y'all. Dr. Dre reportedly was at his grandmother's funeral, literally up there at the casket, trying to pay his respects, you know, uh, see her on to the other side. Uh, very, yeah, I mean, we've all been there at funerals up there paying respect to our loved one at the casket it's a very emotional moment a very surreal moment and some kind of process server attorney some kind of motherfucker like that comes up serving dre with some new divorce papers can y'all believe that shit like he's up there trying to pay his respects and they're talking about here sir you've been served and dre uh reportedly wasn't even trying to take the papers he was heated and i i, I like 100 percent don't blame him at all that's crazy you couldn't wait till he was walking away from the funeral you couldn't wait till like after i don't know you really got to come up and serve him and just on top of it it's inappropriate period to do it at the funeral but you got to do it when he's at the casket this ish is crazy y'all and uh reportedly uh what's coming out is that these papers are saying you know as we stated that astronomical spousal support order and everything is supposed to all be in order set good to go but uh she's saying yo i need to collect some more money from you because you didn't pay the 1.5 million dollar bill for my uh attorneys my legal team my legal fees that's coming out of your end as well so let's get to that dre's claiming he paid it in full and uh, she's saying otherwise, you know, that come up off that 1.5 amps is man. Divorces are so ugly. I mean, I ain't been through one regardless of the fuckery that people try and, uh, you know, throw around on the net. You know what I'm saying? Coffee's been with the same woman for freaking 20 years. You know what I'm saying? 
but it's just sad you know that this is what's going on and um i don't know it seems that she's really just trying to you know give dre a real real hard time i don't know it just we know uh, you know there's been reports dre had kids outside of the relationship and stuff like that and was plucking around and i guess she's really really trying to make the man pay for it and go through it to the furthest she can take it and it still kind of blows my mind that they had a prenuptial agreement and you know you would think that would just nullify everything you know when it when it came to her trying to take everything from dre but her attorney was like nah um dre ripped it up and said i don't care about this prenup anymore and that held up in court can y'all believe that like that was all it took for them to to push on and, and and push for more when it came to the divorce like i don't know she had some for real for real uh attorneys out there you know really fighting this case like this guy was a shark or this team whatever they knew what they were doing it, it, it wouldn't it be crazy if it, it was like yo plot twist her attorneys were in cahoots with dre's attorneys to like his attorneys were like all right we won't really put up a fight like that and you know what i'm saying you just break us off out of your end or whatever i don't know like if i had the bread that dre had i wouldn't trust nobody you know what i mean like we're we're talking for real for real money and people people will do crazy shit for what they think is a lot of money and at the end of the day it's just a little money so you know imagine the type of shit that they do for dr dre money you know what i mean so tap in hit the comments let me know what y'all think about this then we got to move on to the next one we're talking about as is once again <laughs> yo people always go in on as is when coffee makes a video regarding as is you know what i mean um we know the whole situation that went down with eminem we ain't gonna rehash all that um uh, but you know as is has been claiming that january 20th is going to be an annual event and it's happening again coming real soon just a few months away i don't know he i i feel like this year He'll have some major cooking. I don't know. But it's odd. He also has offered a peace treaty to Eminem and Royce, but at the same time says he's coming with something. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But why we're talking about As Is right now, man, uh, what do y'all think about this, guys? Did As Is crack the code regarding the health crisis, y'all? People this man put up on the gram. And, and listen, obviously, uh, this is some comedy. But at the same time, it really kind of makes you think, man. If y'all remember when the whole Popeye's chicken sandwich uh, jump off was going down, you know what I mean? It was crazy. Uh, it took the world by storm. Not long after that, I don't know. Like, do the timelines add up? As is, is saying he cracked the code that that thing, that sickness, you know, that, that now everyone's got to get that treatment originated from the Popeye's chicken sandwiches that the sickness was in the chicken I don't know y'all like what do you guys think man he could have really cracked the code with this one make sure to tap in uh with your thoughts on that as well and then the last topic we gotta get off into we're talking about milk 74 do we talked about a lot on the channel and i really gotta ask y'all what does everyone think about this okay we all know uh what's been going on but for those maybe you know who haven't been engaged with all this milk um hasn't made like he's been he was missing for over a week off his main channel and a lot of rumors you know what i'm saying and them rumors are motherfucker like I was just saying earlier, you know, got to watch what you believe on the Internet. People get to talking real wild, real crazy. Uh, but, the, you know, there was rumors that uh, allegedly Milk caught a DV case. Uh, then there was people saying, yo, Milk is homeless. Uh, then they were saying, yo, Milk got aired out. Um, you know, all those people that are looking for milk, they all caught him at the same time. And his ish is twisted. He can't show his face. He's all busted up, etc., etc. This, that and the third. Um, you know what I mean? There was just so many different reports and allegations and ish floating around. It was it was it was nuts. Right. And then we see milk pop out on his second channel with a very brief live telling everyone, yo, Quit talking that crazy ish. 
I'm good to go. That's crazy. Why would y'all say this? He said, yo, why would y'all say I was dead? Because the, the, there was even reports like that coming out that Milk had kicked the bucket and was no longer with us. And um, since then, we still haven't seen any more new content from Milk on either platform. Um, I've been, you know, there's been reports that Milk has been popping around in uh, comment sections and stuff like that um on live streams and whatnot but y'all know how it goes when it comes to that you can't really confirm that that's really milk you know um i tried to point that out a while ago when i had to issue a retraction video if y'all remember with k frog back when uh you know there was all that drama was still in full swing there was a screenshot circulating around where k frog had commented saying he supported the wicked one but then um <clears throat> you know during a live it's not like how it used to be you can't click the icon and just skate over to the channel but i cracked the code what i did was click the icon um and you can either hit report or block i blocked it then i went over to the, to the official k frog channel and that channel was not blocked so it was like obviously k frog didn't really say that even though you know there was some some real silly funny style youtubers out there you know what i mean talking about oh no no it was him it was him i know it was him it's like nah it wasn't you know what i mean and they were trying to claim they clicked the icon to get there like it's, it's not possible you're making shit up you're talking out of your ass what the fuck are you talking about you know what i mean but um you know it doesn't really tie that much into this situation what we're talking about with milk i'm just strictly saying other than that live stream that we've seen milk come out and address all this and say yo why are y'all saying this cut it out we haven't seen anything else from him except for some comment sections and some lives and whatnot and we can't even confirm that that is milk and that one was from his secondary channel as well so what do y'all think's going on with this you know uh we're at like all in all i believe we're creeping up on two weeks now i want to know what everyone thinks what happened to uh milk is he just taking a break you know what i mean that like that's very well impossible. I don't know if people have really thought about that, that that milk could literally just be trying to take a break. You know what I mean? Because uh, obviously, you know, my uh, my the algorithm guys is shitting on coffee like a motherfucker right now. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, it, it's nothing. We'll push our way back up into, you know, um, getting the content out there, getting the views and whatnot. But I was speaking yesterday and letting it be known that um you know what i mean um i had got suspension when uh suspended at the same time when all that fluckery was going on a week ago and i i, I put like two or three videos out on my secondary channel and uh it, it just felt good to kind of take that that plug out of your brain you know what i'm saying being plugged into the matrix and everything and take a little break and whatnot it felt good it felt refreshing so maybe milk's just doing that i don't know you know um but uh, at the end of the day, what do y'all think's going on? Make sure to get in the comments. Tap in on all these com uh, topics as well. Like I said, Dr. Dre can't even go to his grandma's funeral without getting hit with some papers, man. Process servers running up on him and whatnot. Bridget Kelly, Eminem, the token white boy at the Super Bowl. What do y'all think about that? Did as is crack that health code? And Milk 7-4 was really good. What's going on? Let's discuss it all below. I thank y'all for tuning in. It's coffee. I'm up out of here. Make sure to sub to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Daily videos, music, news, sports, current events, life, and much, much more. And I'm up out of here, y'all. Peace.